Welcome to Dust Off the Bricks. I have added to my custom Rosa Diner. So um, if you haven't seen the first video of this, I will leave the description or I'll leave the link in the description below for that video. But I'll show you in this video what's different with it. So let's get this roof off really quick. So in the um, kitchen back here, we had an ice cream machine with some um, ice cream cones on the wall there. And then I tiled the entire section back there. And then I added a door. So let's remove that. Oh, and then up top you can see I've used this AC unit before and I stole it off of uh, Google. Um, I think there's a YouTube video I actually watched on it. Uh, I did change a few things, like using that dial there. But it's pretty cool looking uh, AC unit. And then there is a vent fan for the bathroom. As you can see there is a um, vent type of thing going up there. And that's exactly where the roof goes, is right over those. So there's a vent bathroom and then an AC unit for the walk-in uh, freezer. Um, this entire section back here is removable. So let's turn this thing around. And it just pops right off, held together with friction pins, technique friction pins. And uh, here we go. The whole back, it's all tiled. You got the sink moved back there because obviously I put an ice cream cone or ice cream machine right there with chocolate and vanilla. Um, so sinks moved back here. We have some storage stuff. You have some ketchup, mustard. You've got some napkin dispensers and ice cream cones on the shelving unit. And then in here is the bathroom. Hard to see. Let's see if I can remove. Well, you can't remove the. Let's remove the there. You can kind of see there's a small little bathroom in there. You've got a sink and toilet, and that's about it. Um, and then you have your walk-in freezer. You got bananas, uh, hot dogs, cherries. Up top here, you got an extra um, vanilla and chocolate ice cream cones. And I'm going to. Remove this wall really quick. It's not the easiest thing. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Somewhat. To show you the shelves. Alright, so there's the shelves. So you've got some orange juice. You've got some orange soda. I don't know. Just some soda cans down here. Some more. Um, then you got milk and some more soda. Different soda cans. And then just a bunch of different recipe type of things. So there you go with that. But yeah, it's a, uh, then let's put the door on. If I can find it. Probably back here. Yep, there it is. But yeah, so uh, I got a comment saying that I should have have a walk-in, um, a place to store other, store food and then a walk-in freezer. Um, so I decided, obviously I knew I didn't have space in the existing diner to do that. So I was kind of thinking over it for a couple uh, weeks and uh, decided that I just had to uh, add more space to it. And after thinking and trying to calculate what exactly I needed, I decided a half base plate would be just fine for that. So here we it is, the half base plate that has the remaining of the stuff that was needed for the custom diner. And I'll just show you a brief, if people who haven't seen it before, just a diner. Here there's a jukebox there. So pretty uh, cool diner, I would say. I know. So this is uh, what I got, the completed diner. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And this uh, diner will not be around for much longer as it will be taken apart and put in my inventory uh, to create a new mock. Um, and I've got a few ideas um, on the back burner. So definitely 
subscribe so you don't miss any of my next mocks. So, thanks for watching.